So we're now looking at lay and expert opinion. And we're gonna get more into the distinction in a couple cases down the road. But what we're looking at with lay opinion, and we'll see this in a number of different iterations, is quite often the way that we express things are simply done in terms of, of lay opinions that we don't even think about. We don't think about the fact that we're expressing a, an opinion when quite often we are. That's a big car. That's a small boat. It's cold out today. And so in Heflin versus Merrill, we're, we're talking about speed of a car. And the witness wants to testify, or the, the party offering the witness wants the witness to testify that, that he looked in his rearview mirror and saw a car barreling toward them, and he was allowed to testify to that, that the car was moving fast and very fast, barreling. Uh, you know, it has a very nice kind of a, of a feeling to it. That's a, that's a really emotive word. Uh, you really get a sense of speed with that word. And the court says that's absolutely permissible, that, that those are the things of, of lay opinion, speed, weight, height. Uh, he's a tall guy. She's a short woman. Those are the types of things, you know, that car is really moving on. Those are the types of things that are absolutely permitted by ordinary people, just in the way they describe the circumstances of the world against them. And in fact, <clears throat> what, the def what the witness did testify to or wanted to testify to, that this car was moving 70 miles an hour. Uh, the court holds that that is too specific, that 70 miles an hour is something that an expert might be able to testify to, um, you know, based on certain particularized training, um, based on the use of specialized tools like a radar gun, for instance. I want to suggest that the first half of this opinion is absolutely consistent with every case you'll see in America. That car was really traveling fast. That, that would be the, that, that part of the opinion uh, is, is going to be what you find everywhere. If the lay expert wanted to say, I think the car was going 80 miles an hour, maybe 90, I'm not sure that the Mississippi Supreme Court's opinion here rejecting that testimony as being too precise for a layman, I'm not sure that that part of the opinion would necessarily be the same uh, in every jurisdiction just because I think that ordinary people have a lot of experience estimating speed, maybe not in this circumstance where the, ex or where, where, the, where the person is testifying to something he saw in his rear view mirror. Probably no one could testify to that degree of precision from that angle, even an expert. But let's say you're on the interstate and, and you estimate that a car whizzed by you at 90 miles an hour. You say, I was going 55, I bet that person was going 90. To me, under different circumstances, I think uh, other courts would in fact allow that type of precision, maybe 80, 90 miles an hour, not offering it as a precise number, but as an estimate when you have an ordinary foundation for this. I was, I was traveling 55, the car passed me like I was standing still. You absolutely could testify to that. The car whizzed by me at a high rate of speed as I was traveling 55 miles an hour. Could you, as a lay witness who watched the car whiz by you, say, and I would guess it was 90 miles an hour? Yes, I think you absolutely could, and I'm certain there are cases out there that back that up. This case, though, rejects that, that degree of precision but you have to look at the circumstances in which this was rejected. This was rejected under, you know, you would, it would have taken a radar gun because there was no way when you look in the rear view mirror and see, see a car approaching at that degree of speed, the circumstances there um, just don't offer, they, the, the witness doesn't offer the, the degree of, of foundation for the lay opinion. So, so certainly take away from this case the fact that the lay expert can talk about comparative speed, can talk about speed generally, and under the right circumstances can talk about numbers, but these simply were not the right circumstances for that.